the spirits, plural, whether they be of God. So then, when you say you have a spiritual leader, what kind of spirit is leading him? That's right. And will a spiritual leader give you a teaching to promote sin, or will he give you a teaching to fight sin? Amen. Because when God make a preacher, his message is designed to fight sin, including the sin that is in himself. That's right. So Paul said, in me, talk about himself, to us, no good thing. That's right. Paul put the word on himself again and said, oh, wretched man, that I am. And he was an apostle. Apostle. It was God calling God sin. That's right. But he said, oh, wretched man that I am, who shall be able to deliver me from this body of death? That's right. So it didn't say that the godly man no. is going mad. No, no. It says what? The spiritual man. Oh, praise the Lord. Is mad. The spiritual man is mad. Is mad. Mad. Mm. You got to have a mad preacher in a mad church in a mad religion. Yeah. That's teaching you to touch something and claim it. That's right. Think of it. You touching other people's houses, other people's cars, yeah. and claiming what's theirs. That's right. That's mad because mad. that's covetousness. That's right. Are you listening? The prophet is a fool. A prophet, the prophet, the is, prophet is a fool. Now hold it. Amen. You have a lot of prophets here in Florida. Yeah. You have prophets all over America. Oh, yeah. And the Lord testified what he did not do. That's right. Give me the book of Jeremiah quickly. Mm -hmm. Let's certify as I go. Come on, son. Amen. The 23rd, 23rd chapter, chapter of the book of Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. And you better begin at verse 20, if you will. Jeremiah chapter 23, we're at verse 20. I want everybody to get this. You mad prophets that are watching. That's right. You mad preachers that are watching. What are watching? You spiritualists. That's right. Cigar sucking, wine drinking, spiritualists. Amen. Remarriage and divorce. It's only a madman believe in three gods. That's right. A madman tell you it's two gods. Right. A madman tell you you can trade in your wife and get another one and trade in your husband and get another one like you got a uh, used car lot. That's right. Are you kidding what I'm telling you? Jeremiah chapter 23, we'll start at verse 20. All right. The anger of the Lord shall not return. God's anger shall not return until we have until or take God he have executed. Until he have performed the thoughts he of have his performed heart. The thoughts of his heart. In the latter days he shall consider it perfectly. Uh -huh. I have not sent these prophets. Did you hear this? Amen. Some of these prophets, viewers, are your husband. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're your father. Yeah. They're your brother. They're your cousin. Sometimes people follow men because that's their friend. Yes, their that's friend right. wanted to start a church and got some calling out of hell and whatnot. He heard some strange sound from the windshield wipers of his car. <laughs> go preacher, go to preacher, go to preacher. And right away, he got a calling in the rain. And this is the way a lot of churches are started. Even some fella had a fallout with his bishop and tried to steal some members, ran off and started church. Listen. This jumping off, hooking up with somebody because they're your buddy or they're your friend and say, I want to help your ministry. What you think this is, a game? That's right. You're going to stand before God for everything that come out of your mouth than the ears of everybody else. That's right. When you come up here, this is judgment work. Oh, yes. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. And everything you ever preach, you're going to give an account to God for it. Oh, yes. That's why if you preach something, never be too big for correction. That's right. Why? Because your whole objective is save yourself and them that hear. That's right. Don't oh, never be too big for correction. Mm -hmm. Listen. I have not sent these prophets. What happened? Yet they reign. That's the problem. Amen. The Lord said, I didn't send them, but what did they do? Yet they reign. Oh, when you get a preacher tell you, well, if you feel as though you want to preach, just go on in the pool. Just go on and start preaching. That's mad advice. Yeah, that's right. And I, 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 that's lunatic advice. Yeah. That's fool <laughs> advice. That's right. And that's right. I, I want to emphasize on that, you know. <laughs> I said that's fool <laughs> advice. That's right. You mean if you get the feeling that we, we, ain't, we ain't James Browning up here? No. I got the feeling. Nah, nah, no, nah, no, nah. no. Now some folk got the feeling that they got the Holy Ghost, but True. never speak in tongues. That's right. Nobody can't about your feeling. Who put you in the pulpit? Yeah. What the 
brought you up here? Amen. What made you a preacher? Who made you a preacher? Where did you get your message from? That's right. That's right. Someone said, well, my pastor died and left everything to me. Listen, Moses died, but God turned everything over to Joshua. That's right. That's right. Showing you that in order for Israel to make the journey, as God was with Moses, it took God to be with the next one, so the journey won't change. That's right. That's if God wasn't with Joshua, the journey would have detoured. Proof of that is Aaron. That's right. All right, God, man, God wasn't with Aaron like he was with Joshua. Oh, no. Aaron messed up before Moses even died. That's right. Moses is up on the mountain, and Israel, fellas, know that Moses was taking too long, and, and uh, all Israel rose up to play. Right. They didn't go get Joshua and say, make us gods. No. They went to Moses' brother. Yeah. Come on, Aaron. Mm -hmm. Make us gods to go before us. That's right. For this Moses, we, we don't know what happened to him. That's right. What did Aaron do? Oh, come on, get your, come on, give me your earrings and give me your gold. I'll make you a calf. Mm -hmm. Look how ignorant and hell deserving Israel was. Yeah. After they made the calf, they said the calf delivered them out of the land of Egypt. Isn't that wicked? Yeah. The calf wasn't made until after they came out of Egypt. That's right. How in the world are you going to credit a calf for doing something when a calf wasn't even made? Amen. It shows you how vain and how disrespectful and how arrogant man is touching the Almighty. That's right. All right. I have not sent these prophets. I have not sent these prophets. Yet they ran. They're running too. They're mm. running. These freakers got these little fellowship services going on. Listen. Here you got, all right, you got one, two, three, four. Uh, if you had the pulpit full of men, how can 20 preachers have fellowship with each other and every last one of them believe something different? Something different. How, how can we be that hell-bound blind? That's right. When the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 1, 10, now I beseech you, brethren. And by the mercies of God. By, by the mercies of God. I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That you, that all, you speak. all speak the same thing. And that, that there, there be, be no, no divisions. No divisions, no confusion among you. But that you be perfectly joined. How well? Perfectly. How well? Perfectly. When a thing is perfectly joined, that thing is hallelujah. It's complete. That's right. Glory to God is tight. Perfectly. No space there. That's right. That's why I'm adamant about all the ministers of First Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. You got to speak the same thing. Same thing. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you got so much anointing, you haven't slept in seven years. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. There's only one. There's only one spoon. Oh yeah. And Williams is holding it. Amen. And there's one. There's only one ice box with food. Yeah. Williams got it open. That's right. It's the same grub. That's right. Same meat. Amen. Same milk. Same gospel. That's right. Yeah. My, my, my Hispanic brothers, when they speak Spanish, I don't care what language is coming, it come one God. That's it. Yeah. That's right. And, and, and when it come one God, uno God. Yeah. That's right. If, if, if he said there's three, three, no, 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 no. I'm going to come back, uno, I said. That's right. Yeah. You know, uno. Glory to God. Amen. Yes, I am. Oh, yeah. Regardless of your language, mm -hmm. the gospel don't change. That's right. When the apostle Paul went to Greece, the gospel didn't change. Oh, no. He went to Mesopotamia. Mm -hmm. He went to Macedonia. He went to Rome. He went to all around the world, but the message didn't change. Now, I beseech you, brethren. Uh, I beseech you, brethren. By the name of our Lord Jesus all Christ. All these churches you got here in Florida. Amen. And you mean to tell me y'all going to heaven anyhow? Mm -hmm. Who told y'all that lie? That's right. It's more easier to go to hell than it is to go back with God. That's right. Everybody got to have the same thing. That you all speak the same thing. How much? That you all speak the same thing. They didn't have the women preachers in there. Why you got them in your church? That's right. They didn't call women evangelists then. Why is your mama one? Right. They didn't have women evangelists then. Why your wife one? That's right. They didn't have women assistant pastors then. Why you got a church that got an assistant pastor for a woman? That's right. That you all speak the same thing. They didn't preach two gods then. Why you got it now? Amen. The word Trinity is not even in the Bible. Why you got it now? That's right. It ain't none of the apostles say there won't be no more apostles after them. No. How you come along now Amen. and say there isn't none? That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That you all uh, speak. You all speak the same thing. I got a letter from a minister who said, "All right, you said that uh, there are apostles now." Then give me Bible where the Lord says he will send mm. any apostles 
after he done already sent what he had. In the book, give me Luke, Luke chapter 11, 11 49. 49. I'm going to give you a Bible uh, where Jesus said what he will do. That's and right. this is after it was already done. In the book of St. Luke chapter 11 and at verse 49. Glory to sweet Jesus. Therefore, Therefore, also said the wisdom of God. Now anything that's opposite from this is not wise, it's that's dumb. Right. That's right. It's, it's mad speech. That's right. Yeah. Therefore, but also this said, is the wisdom of God. Mm -hmm. What is it? Therefore, also said the wisdom of God. Uh -huh. I will. I will. I, I will, will send them, send them prophets, prophets and apostles. This is after the twelve was walking the earth. That's right. I will. I will do it. I will send them prophets no, and apostles. Well, he have done it already. All right, but he said he will do I it. I will. And if there are no more apostles now, how will he be true to tell them? Give me I the twenty-eighth chapter mm -hmm. of the book of Matthew. Matthew, Matthew twenty-eight, nineteen. Now, let me give you a piece of revelation here. I want to break. I want to break off a piece of good bread. Matthew twenty-eight. I want to break off a piece of good bread that these folks say ain't no apostles now. God turned the church in the hands of the bishop. Tell me that. Amen. Now, tell me that I make you lick it up. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I make you lick that stuff up. That's right. Yes, I will. Amen. Listen at this. Matthew. 28 was I start at verse 19. Matthew 28 19. Go ye therefore, Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Teach all nations. Baptizing them in the name of the Father. Baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Teaching them. Now he's talking to his apostles, teaching them to observe all things what? whatsoever I have commanded. Then what? And lo, I am with you always. Lo, I am with you always. How long? Even unto the end of the world. All right, to you that say there are no apostles now, how can he be with them? To the end of the, the world, end of the world, and the world is still here, and they died. That's right. That's right. And according to Jesus, He ain't the God of the dead. No. He's the God of the living. The living. That's right. So how can He be with them to the end of the world when they are dead? That's right. The men that help the apostleship are dead. That's right. So how can he be with them to the end of the world right. and they died before the world end? That's right. That office will be here yes. until the end of the world. Give me the book of Corinthians. First Corinthians chapter 12. First Corinthians 12, 28. Verse 28. Follow me in the Bible. First Corinthians 12, 28. That's what? And God. God. God has set some. Has set some. In the church. Who did it? God. Now you that Hello. say there are none. I got Bible that clearly says God set some in there. In there. So if you say there are none, just email me, text me, or whatever. Mm -hmm. A scripture that says God took them out. That's right. Because if he said he put them in, mm -hmm. you better produce Bible that says God took them out. That's right. Yeah. And God had set some. And I want to straighten you out that wrote me that says he only had 12. That's a lie. That's a lie, uh, too. I, that's a lie. I straightened that old lie out, too. That's right. All right. 1 Corinthians 12 and verse 28. Praise the name of the Lord. And God has set some in the church. What? First apostle. First apostle. Second daily prophet. Wait a minute. Pro prophets is in the church? Second daily prophet. Somebody say you don't have no prophets in the New Testament. What you think Achabus was? Achabus, that's right. Yeah. That's right. What do you think Achabus was? Mm hmm. All right. And God had set some in the church. What? First apostle. First apostle. Second daily prophet. Second daily prophet. Thirdly teacher. Wait a minute. If it says thirdly teachers, that title teachers got the bishops, which are elders. That's right. So I say, well, how is that, Pastor Jennings? Because one of their qualifications is apt to teach. Apt to teach. <laughs> yeah. That's right. The moment you say teachers, they got the bishops, which are elders, because they got to be apt to teach. Apt to teach. Hallelujah to God. After that. After that. Miracles. If this stuff is not, you can't take one thing out of the church and then say the other stuff is in there. No. After that. Miracles. Miracles. Then gifts of healing. Gifts of healing. Helps. Helps. Government. Government. Diversity of tongues. Diversity of tongues. Are all apostles? No, all are not apostles. Are all prophets? No, all are not prophets. Are all teachers? Oh, no, certainly not. These are some dumb things out here today. Are all workers of miracles? Are all workers of miracles? Have all the, mm -hmm. No. Come on, sir. Have all the gifts of healing? No. Do all speak with tongues? No, speaking in tongues is for believers. That's right. Only believers speak in tongues. That's right. That's what the Bible said. Do all speak in tongues? No, the Bible said these signs shall follow them that believe. That believe. So if I'm a believer, that's what got me tarrying. That's right. If I don't believe it, I would never tarry. That's right. Huh? Do all speak with tongues? And if I'm a believer, I'm going to tarry until I receive the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. That's right. Speaking in tongues like the Spirit of God came out of it. That's right. Uh -huh. Do all speak with tongues? All right. Do all interpret? Yes. All right. Come on, sir. Now also in Ephesians, chapter 4 and at verse 8. Yes. And, and he gave some apostles. All right, wait, wait, let's, let's get the, uh, uh, where 
he got the, the apostleship. Mm -hmm. I want to show you where there's more than 12. Right. Give me the uh, book of Matthew. Mm -hmm. Let's get the name of the apostles. The of the apostles. We want to get Jesus first, first in the Hebrews, book of Hebrews. Chapter 3. I want to get Jesus, you know, uh, the first one. The first one. And then we'll get the one that he chose first in the flesh. That's right. Someone say, well, how can Jesus bear the title of the first apostle? And the Bible called the name of the apostles and said the first one was Peter. That's too deep for you. Yeah. Let me explain that. Mm -hmm. Peter was the first one that was chosen in the flesh. Jesus was the first one the spirit chose direct. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Amen. The Son of God was the first one that the Spirit chose mm -hmm. without having a body. That's right. Yeah. That's he, right. he made that body, then chose it mm -hmm. and appointed. Bless God. But the other apostles was chosen while he was here in the flesh. That's right. All right. He, uh, Hebrews chapter 3, we're at verse 1. Come on, son. Wherefore, holy brethren. Wherefore, holy brethren, partakers of, of the, the heavenly calling. Heavenly calling. Consider the apostles. Uh oh. Amen. And this make him different from the others. That's right. The others are not the the apostle. Apostle. That's right. They just apostles. That's right. Do you see what I'm telling you? Mm -hmm. He come along the apostle. The apostle. The apostle. And, and high priest of our profession. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. He's the high priest of what we profess. That's right. In other words, everything we profess and believe, credit Jesus. That's right. Hmm? So I thought we credit the apostles. Well, when you credit the apostles, you got to credit Jesus. That's right. Because you can't hear Jesus without hearing them. Without hearing them. And Wherefore, holy brother, partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostles and, and high priest of our profession. Yes. Christ Jesus. Who is it? Christ Jesus. All right. And Jesus, I want you hard head stubborn watchers to get this. And to you that have been taught there's just 12, I want to uh, add more to your virtue. That's right. Knowledge. That's right. Jesus was the first one. The first one. And then he chose 12 men. In Matthew chapter 2. He 10. didn't hear, get my language. Many of you preachers said Jesus chose 12 apostles. No, he didn't. No. Because when you say he chose 12 apostles, that's saying there were apostles already when he selected them. That's right. No, he chose 12 men. That's it. And then made them into apostles. That's right. You get what I'm telling you. That's right. All right. Matthew chapter 10, we're starting at verse 1. Pretty quick. And when he had called unto him his 12 disciples. Yes, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. There was his 12 followers. 12 disciples. Uh -huh. He gave them power against unclean spirits. He gave them power against unclean spirits. To cast them out and to heal all manner all right. of sickness and all manner of disease. Yes. Now the names of the 12 apostles are these. Let us remember Jesus is number one. Be right. quick. Now the names of the 12 apostles are these. Yes. The, the first Simon. First Simon. Who's called Peter. Yes. And Andrew his brother. Uh -huh. James the son of Zebedee and John his brother. Yes. Philip and Bartholomew. Thomas and Matthew the publican. James, the son of Alphaeus, and Labias, whose surname was, Thad was Thaddeus. Yes. Simon the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot, uh -huh. who also betrayed him. Yes. These twelve, Jesus sent forth. Now, Jesus, one. One plus twelve is what? Thirteen. All right, that's thirteen. Thirteen. All right, now let's get number 14, the first chapter of Acts of the Apostles. Now in the book of Acts, chapter one. Let us remember, viewers and blind churchgoers, Judas died. He commits suicide hung himself so now someone had to take that office because the old testament says let one die and another take his office that's right or let another take his bishopric mm -hmm. all right now the first chapter of the book of matthew quickly first the first chapter, or, first the chapter of, of acts. acts if you will beg your pardon come on acts chapter one was started verse 16 yes men and brethren this scripture must needs have been fulfilled the scripture look at the apostle referring to bible mm -hmm. we got the fulfilled scripture which the holy ghost by the mouth of david spake before concerning judas yes which was god to them that took jesus uh -huh. well he was numbered with us and had obtained part of this ministry uh -huh. now this man purchased a field with the reward Reward of iniquity and falling headlong, he burst asunder in the midst, and all his bowels gushed out. Yes, and it was known unto all the dwellers at Jerusalem, in so much as that field is called in their proper tongue El Sedema, that is to say, the field of blood. Yes, what is written in the book of Psalms, let his habitation be desolate, and, and let no man dwell therein, and his bishopric let another take. Yes, wherefore, of these men, of these men which have accompanied with us, which have company with us all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us. Wait a minute. That let you know that the 12 was not his only students. That's right. There was some other men that was in the company. Company. While Jesus was walking the earth receiving the same teaching right. that the apostles received. That's right. Listen at the language of the Bible. Wherefore of these men. Notice it didn't say of these apostles. Of these men. They were just men. Men. With, with the apostles. Mm -hmm. In and out of the teaching that Jesus was given. 
Uh -huh. Wherefore of these men which have accompanied with us yes. all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us. We need somebody who was very familiar with this message. All the, time all the time they was there when Jesus was in and out with us. Beginning from the baptism of John. We need someone that begins from John baptism. Unto that same day that he was taken up from us. Uh -huh. Must one be ordained to be a witness with us. What? Of his resurrection. All right. And they appointed two. Joseph called Barzabas. Yes. Who was surnamed Justice and Matthias. Uh -huh. And they prayed. They prayed. And said, Thou Lord. Thou Lord who doth the hearts of all men. Show whether of these two you thou show hast chosen. You whether of these two that you select. That he may take that, part of this that ministry he may take and apostleship. Part of this ministry and apostleship. From which Judas by transgression fell. What happened? That he might go to his own place. Yeah. And they gave forth their lots. And the lot fell upon Matthias. And the lot fell on Matthias. And he was numbered with the eleven. All right. You got Jesus one. And you got the 12, 13. So I said, well, he was number with the 11. Well, at the time, then it was 11 because Judas died. Right. But it didn't change the fact Judas once was an apostle. That's right. So you got Jesus, one. You had the 12. 12 plus one is 13. Mm -hmm. You got Matthias, 14. 14. Now you got Barnabas. In the book of Acts. Someone said, well, ain't no Bible that ever said Barnabas was an apostle. You better give me Acts. In the book of Acts, 14, chapter 14, 14 and verse 14. Follow me. Acts 14 and verse 14. And listen at the language of the book. Which when the apostles. Spell it. A-P-O-S-T-L-E-S. -E Plural. And who are they talking about? Barnabas. Barnabas. And Paul. Glory to God. Amen. <laughs> Which when the apostles. So you had Jesus 1. You had the 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. Matthias 14. Barnabas 15. And brother Paul 16, 16. I said. That's right. That's right. 12 men that was chosen in the flesh and the others was chosen after he died. That's right. And ascended above all heavens. That's right. That's right. He said, I will send men. I will, I send will them. do I it. I will send them. And prophets. if he said he will do it, do you it. better hush your mouth. That's right. Because I dare you to tell me he lied and tell me he won't do it. That's right. Go back to where we were. Back in Jeremiah. And see the whole, hey, Jeremiah, let's finish Jeremiah 23, 23. Jeremiah 23 and that verse 21. All right. I have 23, not, uh, 21. 21. Mm -hmm. I have not sent these prophets. I have not sent these prophets yet. They ran. Stop running. <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's right. Stop running to the pulpit. That's right. All you got to do is go to a false church and give a testimony and quote a bunch of scriptures and you will get a, uh, an appointment to speak. That's truth. That's how wicked these preachers are. All you got to do is get up That's and right. testify, quote a, a few scriptures. Before you know, the bishop of that church going to give you a card inviting you to run a revival. <laughs> That's right. That's right. He don't know whether you're on the down low. He don't know whether you really, he don't know whether you're really a woman who just took hormones to grow a beard. He don't know none of that. Amen. A fool and a good fool. Don't know what you believe. That's true. Don't know what your beliefs are. Mm hmm so when preachers just tell you, well, you just go on and if you, uh, you know, if you feel like you're a preacher, just go on mm -hmm. and preach. That advice will lead you so far into hell. That's right. All right. What did he say? I have not sent these prophets, yet they reign. Stop running. <laughs> Amen. To the pulpit. Run past it. That's right. Or be quick to run to it. That's true. Amen. They reign. Many of these men ordained the day because some fool bishop laid hands on them. Yeah. And ordain anything, you better wait. That's right. I want to say, Pastor Jennings, I, I, I come from uh, Church of God in Christ. I come from Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. I was ordained by Bishop Bond. I was ordained by Bishop Lawson. I was ordained by Elder Huckabee. I was ordained <laughs> by William Branham. Listen, I don't care if you was ordained by Gabriel and Michael and Raphael. Lay hands suddenly on no man. If all the angels ganged up on you and then put their wings over you, <laughs> and, and, I mean, just put their wings on you and all you saw was the top of their head, I don't care. That's right. I don't care. Why don't you care, Pastor you Jennings? Don't. Give me the book of Galatians, mm -hmm. chapter 1. Amen. And I, I tell you why I don't care if don't angels care. are dangerous. That's I'm right. telling you like the Apostle Paul said. That's right. If an angel come from heaven. In Galatians chapter 1. take God. Come on, son. I'm going to start at verse 6. If an angel come from heaven and preach any other gospel unto you mm -hmm. that differ from what we preach, let the angel be a as we said before, Pastor Paul, let you know he don't care nothing about angels. That's right. He don't care nothing about angels in heaven, no men on earth. That's right. Touch him the gospel. As we said if before, you bring something different from what them brothers preach. You cuss. That's right. 
So hide under the angels now. That's right. Hide under the wings. Six <laughs> wings cover your face. Six wings cover your feet. And with six wings, may you fly. That's right. Glory to God, but I'm going to tell you, come on back to the Bible. That's right. Huh? That's right. right. Let's go back to the mad men. Mm-hmm. Let's back go back to the, the mad men and the sick heads. Back in the book of Hosea chapter 9. All right. And at verse 7. Come on. The days of visitation are come. The days of visitation. There's a time coming that God is going to visit you. Oh, yeah. Woman, man, boy, girl, you that can't make up your mind. That's right. That's Government right. of America. Mm-hmm. Democrats, Republicans, Amen. liberals. Politicians, Amen. millionaires, Amen. the God in whom you don't believe in, mm-hmm. he going to visit you, that's, stiff neck, that's right. hard head, stubborn. He going to visit you, tough man, That's right. miss fine woman. Now you care if you got more curves in all the streets of Miami. Yeah. God going to visit you. Amen. What did he say? The days of visitation are come. The days of visitation are come. Are come. The days of recompense are come. The days of recompense are come. Israel shall know it. You will understand. The prophet is a fool. The prophet. All these people want some prosperity preacher. Yeah. Preachers wait till something happen and then prophesy about it. Shut the up. How foolish. That's right. They wait for something happen and then prophesy about it. Amen. Like you hear all these men now telling you watch the weather. The news say that every day. <laughs> Uh-huh. Amen. Just watch the weather, John. That's all you got to do. Watch the weather, John. That's right. They say the weather is mysterious. All right, just watch the weather, John. You'll get that news every day. You'll need a preacher to tell you that. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> is that right? That's right. Just watch, just watch the weather, John, and you'll see events taking place. The Bible says there's going to be earthquakes in dire places. The Bible says it. It got to be. Mm-hmm. There's going to be famine. The Bible says it. It got to be. Yeah. Pestilence. The Bible says it. It got to be. Whatever oh, yeah. the word of God say, it just has to be that. That's right. Uh-huh. The prophet is a fool. The prophet, I said. Amen. Stop having your loyalty to some fella because you grew up with him. Because he's your relative. He's your cousin. He's your father. He's your buddy. That's right. Amen. Your best friend. No one should be closer to you than the Bible. Amen. Well, I know him since a child. Who cares? <laughs> you will go to hell with him while you're a child. That's right. The Bible says plain here. The prophet is a fool. Examine your pastor. Amen. Examine yourself if you say you're a preacher this afternoon or this evening or tonight. Hmm. The prophet. Do I got any fools watching? He's a fool. Mm-hmm. Amen. The prophet. He is a fool. You, you once was a fool, wasn't you, William? Yes, sir. Certainly. Yes, sir. Certainly. Well, not just William. In fact, let us include all of ourselves. Give me Titus 3 and 3. Titus 3 and 3. Amen. I'm going to ease up on you this Thank time, William. Amen. Thank the Lord. <laughs> Amen. I ease up on you this time and I, I, I have you read a scripture that'll make you feel better. Wonderful, Pastor uh, Isn't that wonderful, wonderful? Wonderful. In fact, this scripture will even include me. My Lord. Huh? My Lord. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Amen. All right. <laughs> All right, Williams. Come on. Let's shoot them from the hip. Titus, have... Titus chapter 3 and at verse 3. Listen. For we ourselves also. We. we ourselves. Also were sometimes foolish. That include Pastor Jennings. That's, that's right. Don't say, Pat, don't, 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 don't. Why are you so shy? I'm not above the Bible. <laughs> that's right. Huh? That's true. Anyone think I'm above the Bible? You think of me higher than you ought to think. think. You're not sober. You are fool. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. I don't look at you above the Bible. So who do you think you are? Amen. Used to be a song in the 70s, Mr. Big Stuff. <laughs> who do you think you are? Amen. And I'm asking you, who do you think you are? Yeah. Amen. I don't care how much money you have, the kind of car you drive, your size, house, or bank account. Look at the stock market. It's gone mm. down. Yeah. They're losing me. Look out. It's amazing what God can let can let happen and it just affect everything. That's right. Huh? That's right. Millionaires are just just pleading and they're all upset. <laughs> People losing their 401k and they're losing everything. Getting on their knees asking if there is a God, right. please help us. That's right. That's right. Don't look to Trump. Amen. Looking at Trump is looking to the devil. Yeah. Yeah, Pastor Jennings now. I know many of you don't like that. But if you look to Trump, that's equal to looking to hell. That's right. He don't have the answer. No. Huh? No. I mean, no. he don't have the answer. Oh, no. Mm-mm. All the answer is in God. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's where all the answer is. That's right. Amen. He don't have the answer. All the time I get up and tell you, we got everything together. See? <laughs> see? See? Got it. Got it. We, got, we got it all together. My staff, you see? <laughs> that's the devil out of hell. 
Yeah. That's right. He don't know what he's doing. He don't know what he's doing. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> yeah, he don't know what he's doing. Amen. That's, that's truly a spiritual man going mad. Oh, yes.